Hello students, in the previous session we discussed about parabola and the definitions related to it. In this session we shall look into the other definitions like double ordinate, lattice rectum and we shall solve some examples involving parabola. Here what is a double ordinate? Let P be any point on the parabola y square is equal to 4 a x a chord passing through P perpendicular to the axis of the parabola is called the double ordinate through the point P. P P dash is the double ordinate of point P. You can see in the figure on your monitor. Lattice rectum a double ordinate through the focus is called the lattice rectum that is the lattice rectum of a parabola is a chord passing through the focus perpendicular to the axis. L s l dash is the lattice rectum of the parabola y square is equal to 4 a x. By the symmetry of the curve we have s l is equal to s l dash let it be equal to lambda. So, the coordinates of L are a comma lambda. Since L lies on y square is equal to 4 a x therefore, lambda square is equal to 4 a square or lambda is equal to 2 into a. L L dash is equal to 2 lambda that is equal to 4 a. So, lattice rectum is equal to 4 a. The coordinates of L and L dash end points of the lattice rectum are a comma 2 a and a comma minus 2 a respectively. Now, what do you mean by focal distance of any point? The distance of point P x comma y from the focus S is called the focal distance of the point P. Clearly, S p is equal to square root of x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. S p is equal to square root of x minus a whole square plus y square which can be simplified as S p is equal to square root of x minus a whole square plus 4 a x. P x y lies on the parabola therefore, y square is equal to 4 a x. So, S p can be written as square root of x plus a whole square that is equal to modulus of x plus a that is equal to a plus x. Since x is greater than 0, a is also greater than 0 therefore, obviously x plus a is greater than 0. Hence, a plus x is the focal distance of any point p x comma y on the parabola y square is equal to 4 a x. Now, what do you mean by a focal chord? A chord of the parabola is a focal chord if it passes through the focus. Here we have some other standard forms of parabola. We find that there are three other standard forms of parabola like y square is equal to minus 4 a x, x square is equal to 4 a y and x square is equal to minus 4 a y depending upon the choice of the axis. Thus, in all there are four standard forms. The shapes of the curves in these four standard forms and their corresponding results can be listed out here in the table as follows. Let us discuss about some other forms of parabola. Here we can list out in the table for various forms of parabola the coordinates of vertex for y square is equal to 4 a x is 0 comma 0. The coordinates of vertex for y square is equal to minus 4 a x again the coordinates are 0 comma 0. For x square is equal to 4 a y the coordinates of the vertex are again 0 comma 0 and similarly 
for x square is equal to minus 4 a y the coordinates of the vertex remain the same 0 comma 0. Now, look into the coordinates of focus for y square is equal to 4 a x they are a comma 0. The coordinates of focus for y square is equal to minus 4 a x are minus a comma 0 and for x square is equal to 4 a y the coordinates of focus are 0 comma a and for x square is equal to minus 4 a y the coordinates of focus are 0 comma minus a. Now, let us look into the equation of the directrix for the 4 different parabolas. For y square is equal to 4 a x equation of directrix is x is equal to minus a and for y square is equal to minus 4 a x equation of directrix is x is equal to a. For x square is equal to 4 a y equation of directrix is y is equal to minus a. For x square is equal to minus 4 a y the equation of the directrix is y is equal to a. Similarly, we have equation of the axis for 4 different parabolas y square is equal to 4 a x the equation of axis is y is equal to 0. For y square is equal to minus 4 a x the equation of axis is y is equal to 0. For x square is equal to 4 a y the equation of axis becomes x is equal to 0. Similarly, for x square is equal to minus 4 a y the equation of axis will be x is equal to 0. Now, let us look into the length of the lattice rectum. In case of y square is equal to 4 a x it is 4 into a that is 4 a. Similarly, the lattice rectum length for y square is equal to minus 4 a x it is 4 a and it remains the same for the other two forms also x square is equal to 4 a y and x is equal to minus 4 a y it is 4 a. Now, let us look into the focal distance of a point p x y in case of y square is equal to 4 a x it is a plus x and in case of y square is equal to minus 4 a x the focal distance of the point p x y is a is equal to minus x. For x square is equal to 4 a y the focal distance of the point p x y is a plus y. For x square is equal to minus 4 a y the focal distance of a point p x y is a minus y. Now, from the standard forms of a parabola we have some important observations to make like parabola is symmetric with respect to the axis of the parabola. If the equation has a y square term then the axis of symmetry is along the x axis and if the equation has an x square term then the axis of symmetry is along the y axis. Next when the axis of symmetry is along the x axis the parabola opens to the right if the coefficient of x is positive and it opens to the left if the coefficient of x is negative. Another point to notice when the axis of symmetry is along the y axis the parabola opens upwards if the coefficient of y is positive and the parabola opens downwards if the coefficient of y is negative. Now, let us solve some examples involving parabolas. We have here one example find the coordinates of the focus axis the equation of the directrix and the lattice rectum of the parabola y square is equal to 8x. Look into the solution the given equation involves y square. So, the axis of symmetry is along the x axis. The coefficient of x is positive. So, the parabola opens to the right. Comparing with the given equation y square is equal to 4 a x we find that a is equal to 2. Thus, the focus of the parabola is 2 comma 0 and the equation of the directrix of the parabola is x is equal to minus 2. 
length of the lattice rectum is 4 into a that is 4 into 2 which is equal to 8. Let us look into one more example. Find the equation of the parabola with focus 2 comma 0 and directrix x is equal to minus 2. For the solution we can see since the focus 2 comma 0 lies on the x axis, the x axis itself is the axis of the parabola. Hence, the equation of the parabola is of the form either y square is equal to 4ax or y square is equal to minus 4ax. Since the directrix is x is equal to minus 2 and the focus is 2 comma 0, the parabola is to be of the form y square is equal to 4ax with a is equal to 2. Hence, the required equation is y square is equal to 4 into 2 into x that is 8 into x. We will look into one more example here. Find the equation of the parabola with vertex at 0 comma 0 and focus at 0 comma 2. Since the vertex is at 0 comma 0 and the focus is at 0 comma 2 which lies on y axis, the y axis is the axis of the parabola. Therefore, equation of the parabola is of the form x square is equal to 4 a y. Thus, we have x square is equal to 4 into 2 into y that is x square is equal to 8 y. Let us look into one more interesting example. Find the equation of the parabola which is symmetric about the y axis and passes through the point 2 comma minus 3. Here, since the parabola is symmetric about y axis and has its vertex at the origin, the equation is of the form x square is equal to 4ay or x square is equal to minus 4ay where the sign depends on whether the parabola opens upwards or downwards. But the parabola passes through 2 comma minus 3 which lies in the fourth quadrant. It must open downwards. Thus, the equation is of the form x square is equal to minus 4 a y. Now, since the parabola passes through 2 comma minus 3, we have 2 square is equal to minus 4 into a into minus 3. That is, a is equal to 1 upon 3. Therefore, the equation of the parabola is x square is equal to minus 4 into 1 upon 3. That is, 3a square is equal to minus 4y. So, students, today we discussed about parabola under conic sections. In the coming session, we shall discuss about hyperbolas. See you in the next session. Thank you. Thank you.